Nurses at the Friday Center administered 400 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine on Saturday. UNC Health says no one experienced a reaction. I feel fine. Yeah, I feel perfectly fine. Out of 2,200 people vaccinated at UNC clinics within a two-day time frame last week, less than 10 people fainted after getting the J&J &J shot. No one was taken to the hospital, and after reviewing similar cases, the CDC determined there were no safety concerns. After those unexpected reactions, the vaccine clinic here at the Friday Center has added a separate observation room specifically for people who have a history of fainting. Jesse Leip says he didn't think twice about getting his shot. My uh, wife is pregnant with our third, so, you know, we've got a busy schedule. So if there was a vaccine that was going to give me the opportunity of not having to you know, carve out a second chunk of time, I was going to take it. The Beasleys tell me they initially wanted the J&J &J vaccine, but they ultimately went with Pfizer. I was kind of glad I hadn't already got it because at one time I was thinking or leaning towards getting it Justin and Justin because it was only one shot. So, I mean, I was kind of glad I waited a little longer. Nurses at UNC Family Health's Blue Ridge Clinic in Raleigh administered about 200 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We've had no incidents today. Everything's gone smoothly. They've also added another observation area and an extra screening question for people getting the vaccine. The screening question is, have you ever fainted or passed out while giving blood or having a vaccine before? And if they answered yes, we are able to get them in an exam room, monitor them a little closely. In Chapel Hill, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.